What a night for the Golden State Warriors. After a solid win that pushed our record to an impressive 6-1, there's even more reason to celebrate. Our superstar, who's been sidelined with an ankle injury, made a triumphant return to the court, and boy, did he deliver. With 24 points in just 24 minutes, he showed everyone that he's back and ready to lead us to victory. Want to hear more about his performance and what it means for our season? Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video to stay updated on all things Warriors. Last night was a night to remember for the Golden State Warriors as they secured a solid 125 to 112 victory against the Washington Wizards, pushing their record to 6 to 1 on the season. But the biggest news? The return of our beloved Stephen Curry to the lineup after dealing with that pesky ankle injury. In just 24 minutes on the court, Steph managed to drop 24 points and dish out six assists. I mean, that's classic Curry for you, right? When head coach Steve Kerr spoke to the media after the game, he couldn't hide his excitement. He said, Steph was great, and honestly, how could he not be thrilled? Kerr noted that Curry looked strong and was moving well, which is such a relief for all of us fans who've been holding our breath during his recovery. What really caught my attention was Kerr's strategy with Curry's playing time. They had him on a minutes restriction, which makes sense given the situation. Instead of starting the third quarter, they opted to keep him fresh for the final stretches of both the third and fourth quarters. It's a smart move, and I have to wonder, was that the best decision? I'm honestly torn. On one hand, you want to maximize Curry's impact, especially against a team like the Celtics coming up. On the other hand, preserving his health for the long haul is critical. As we look forward to the Warriors' next matchup against the defending champions, the Boston Celtics, the stakes couldn't be higher. This game will truly test how well Curry can integrate back into the team, especially against a formidable opponent like Boston. Are we ready for it? I can feel the energy building, but I also know that every game matters as we chase that championship dream again. The return of Curry not only boosts our chances in the immediate future but also sets the tone for the entire season. His leadership on the court is irreplaceable, and having him back in the lineup is a huge morale boost for the team and the fans. It's like that missing puzzle piece has finally clicked back into place. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. The Warriors have shown flashes of brilliance, but maintaining consistency is key. The depth of our roster will be crucial as we continue to navigate the season, especially with tough opponents on the horizon. The chemistry that develops over these next few games will be vital as we refine our identity and solidify our strategy moving forward. And hey, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about Kerr's strategy with Curry? Do you believe this cautious approach is the right move, or should we let Steph loose and go all in? Your thoughts matter, and I'm eager to hear your opinions. Drop your comments down below. As passionate fans, we have a unique perspective on how these decisions affect our team's trajectory. It's not just about this season, it's about the legacy we're building. Are we looking at another championship run, or is there a different path ahead? So, as we gear up for Wednesday night's showdown against the Celtics, make sure you're tuned in. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Don't forget to hit that like button if you're excited to see Curry back on the court. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? You need to stay updated on all things Golden State Warriors. Remember to activate that notification bell so you don't miss any of the latest news and updates. Let's rally together as fans and keep this energy going. Your support means everything and together, we can keep the Warriors' spirit alive and thriving. Go Dubs.